it put ambulatory EEG into the mainstream because it really became a truly viable alternative to a hospital stay. From my viewpoint, technologically, it met all the quite stringent design parameters we'd set. Yeah, I think we found out that the product was going to work by the response from our key trial site, the Answers for Cephalexy Clinic, who said that it um, really was going to revolutionise the way they were going to work, and they got the most unbelievable quality recordings, um, well, lab quality recordings, they said, and they were finding things um, that they hadn't been able to see before with their tape recorders. So they were answering the clinical questions that they hadn't been able to answer before. I decided that we should start our own business at Medica in 2000 when Stephen Walters approached me and told me about the new lifelines getting started in the UK. And soon thereafter I quit and started lifelines in the United States. We actually opened the doors on the 1st of July 2001 in our basement at our house and that's where the beginning of lifelines was. I'm driven by technology and I'm fascinated by the challenge of applying new technology the way Trackit has revolutionised the way EEG is done in the home is to enable really long-term recordings to be done compared to a 20-minute in-hospital routine EEG recording. Yeah. Patients are now recorded going about their everyday life. It's true. So here we are 20 years on and what a ride it's been. The Trackit Mark I, the first device, really was quite revolutionary. It made a huge difference to our ability to record long-term EEGs. The second generation Trackit just made that better and improved the storage solution that we provided. And then the Mark III came along with its internal Bluetooth that really opened up the opportunity for synchronized video recordings in the home. And that was a big, big step forward for our patients and the uh, customers that served those patients. And now here we have the Mark IV, the T4A, and this really does bring things forward significantly. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's much more pleasant for a patient to, to wear. Uh, the signal quality is superb. The, um, a to D converters are higher resolution than the older systems, so it does mean that signal quality is every bit as good as anything you would find in an EEG lab. And who knew 20 years ago that today we would be faced with a global pandemic and everything that that implies, and it just means that, that we now have a fantastic product to allow patients to have a superb quality EEG, long-term EEG, performed in the comfort of their own home.